In this video, we'll demonstrate the workflow to create a reduced order model from a transient vehicle dynamic simulation in Adams. We'll use Lunar from the CandleM OTC portfolio to generate and validate the reduced order model. The reduced order model captures the dynamics of interest from a high fidelity Adams model and predicts these transient dynamic effects in seconds. The workflow includes steps for training the reduced order model based on a solution data set from Adams and then validating its predictions. We'll go through these steps in the video and give you a detailed description of the technical tasks involved. At first, Adams is used to set up a model of the entire vehicle. The Adams parameters that are inputs to the reduced order model are then selected and parameter ranges that span the entire design space are defined. A design of experiments for these parameter ranges is then set up in Adams Insight to create a training data set for reduced order model generation. This data set is then used in Lunar to create and validate the reduced order model. The generated reduced order model can then be used as a surrogate for the Adams model for rapid design space exploration. Now let's look at the first step, the creation of a complete vehicle model in Adams. The MDI demo vehicle from the Adams car database is used. We'll simulate the car on a cleat road and look at the effect of the suspension spring and damper scale factors on the chassis vertical acceleration. Let us go ahead and simulate the vehicle as is using the straight line maintain vehicle event. The output response for the vertical acceleration is as shown. It shows the chassis vertical acceleration during front and rear impact. The goal now is to create a reduced order model that predicts this transient vehicle acceleration response for different levels of spring and damper scale factors. In effect, spring and damper scale factors will be the input to the reduced order model and the transient chassis vertical acceleration will be the output from the reduced order model. In the next step, a design of experiments is created in Lunar. The Latin hypercube sampling method is used in this case. We'll create 20 random experiments based on variations in the spring and damper scale factors for the front and the rear suspension. These parametric variations can be visualized in Lunar to check that the entire design space is populated. Additional data points can be added to the DOE if necessary. This DOE will now be saved and executed with an Adams Insight to create a training data set for the reduced order model. The standard Adams Insight setup is used and will not be highlighted in this video. The solution set from the design of experiments is now formatted into files that will be used for the training and validation of the reduced order model. Traditional neural network or other machine learning methods divide the data set in three sets namely learning, testing, and validation. The reduced order model approach requires only two sets, one for learning and one for validation. The learning set includes X variables and Y responses. Once the learning has been conducted, our XN set of new variables will be used for testing and a measure of error is conducted on YN, a new set of responses. Beyond this, point, any new XN can be explored to obtain a new YN. We call this phase the offline phase since no further information is required and the original X and Y are no longer needed. Several solver type options are available for the user to choose from to train the reduced order model. In this case, let's use the proper orthogonal decomposition solver to train the reduced order model. On execution, Lunar generates a reduced order model based on the training set from Adams and also predictions for new input parameter sets that will be used for model validation. All this in less than a second. The comparison between the reduced order model predictions and the Adams predictions for the new input parameter sets shows a good agreement. This shows that the reduced order model captures the dynamics of the Adams model accurately. The reduced order model can now be used as a surrogate to the full vehicle Adams model and used to study the relationships between the suspension parameters and the chassis vertical acceleration. Let us, for example, look at the sensitivity of the chassis vertical acceleration to the front spring scale factors. Using the sensitivity analysis option, we can generate a set of parametric variations on the front spring scale factors 
while keeping other factors constant. Executing the analysis takes less than a second and is much faster than a full wake lattice model that takes four to five seconds per case. We can look at various instances in the transient reduced order model, predictions to gauge the sensitivity of the output response to the input parameters. From the value of the regression coefficients, we can see that the front spring is the most dominant parameter during the front impact. This insight can be used in making design decisions to tune vehicle performance. This video shows how reduced order models can be derived from Adam Solution using Lunar from CADLM and how these reduced order models can be used to explore the design space by simulating parameter settings outside the original training set. These can then be used to gather insight on sensitivity of the response to variations in parameter settings and optimize the response to achieve a certain design target.